but this particular hive, they were a swarm that was put in there and they mostly went straight, but then they decided to go directly across the door. So it's a Kenyan top bar hive um, <clears throat> and we give them a little strip of timber about 45 centimetres long uh, to build the comb from and it's a half hexagon profile, the hive, and if, if everything goes to plan, if they've come to one of my workshops, then they should know that they should build nice and straight comb down each bar so that then we can lift each bar out and, 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 um, and inspect the hive and, and harvest when it's required or give them more space or reduce their space, whatever they need. So we had to very carefully take the bars out and, and cut away the comb that was uh, facing the wrong way. From our perspective, uh, they'd done it because they were in a bit of a cold place and, and having those combs across the entrance would have kept the hive warmer for them. So we're in the process of moving that hive into a sunnier spot. So we can only ever move a hive less than a metre or more than five kilometres because that's the, uh, the forage uh, radius of, of the foraging bees. <clears throat> and if we move it more than two metres, they won't find the entrance to the hive. When they come back from foraging, they'll go back to where it was because they've, they geolocate, they, they pick up the, the electromagnetic signal of, of where this point uh, on the earth is and, and they, need, they need it to be in the, the entrance to be in the same spot to get back. So if we move it less than a metre, they'll still smell the, pher the pheromones to, to guide them home and they'll find it. But if we move it more than that, they won't. So every week we can move it a metre into its new spot and then it'll be fine. If, if it combs the wrong way and it needs to stay in the hive, uh, we'll move it onto a, a, new, a new strip of timber and elastic band it into place. And after a few days, the bees will attach it with wax to the comb and then they'll actually chew through the elastic bands and then throw them out the door. Um, and then once that's done, that's the, 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 combs, the combs fix. Well, it's like that saying, if the, if the twig is bent, so grows the tree. So really, when, when we catch a swarm and put it into a hive, after three days, we should get in there and straighten up the comb if it's, if it's crooked at all. Um, and, and then once, once you've got straight combs, it's really easy to just keep that pattern of straight combs um, as, as the hive expands. Uh, but if they're crooked, then they're gonna, they're gonna keep going with that, yeah. They do need to maintain that temperature and if we can make it easier for them to do that, if, and, and naturally, naturally they wouldn't choose a spot that's too shady. The swarm would never, never decide to go there. They'd always, they always like to, um, in fact, this beekeeper um, scientist, Thomas Seeley, he did lots of experiments uh, on swarms and let them choose their hives given lots of different options. And they would, they would most usually choose a site that was two metres high. In the southern hemisphere, it would be facing east or north to get the morning sun and then have some westerly shade in the afternoon from the hot sun. Um, that's what they want. And they want it to be about 40 litres, the area, with a round hole of 12 square centimetres. So that's what we try and give them. Yeah. One thing I love, it's hard to put one thing, but one thing I really love is um, is the calm meditative space that and even a lot of commercial beekeepers will talk about this that and, and maybe at first it's just from having to be really careful that you don't do anything wrong to upset the bees um, but they're just this real calmness starts to starts to come in into the presence when when keeping bees it's really beautiful um, and I think that combined with inhaling the pheromone cloud and the honey scent and it's, uh, it's, it's just really beautiful. Yeah, I love it. <laughs>